Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're continuing on with our file mover implementation. So given that I know that I want to move a file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across here and I'm going to start using PHP spec to describe this change for me. So I'm going to say PHP vendor bin PHP spec so we can see it's all working. And now I'm going to go ahead and describe this new class that I want to create. So it's going to be at bundle service file mover. In other words, it's a service that moves files. You can see what it's done is it's created me a new file that contains the spec that we're writing. So you can see it's under wallpaper spec at bundle. So you can see we've got this file mover spec. We've got one function in here. It is initializable. And if we were to run this now, then PHP spec would notice that this file mover class does not exist. And it would ask us if we want to create it. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a PHP vendor bin PHP spec run. And we could pass in the full path to that one particular file that we wish to run. Or we, in this case, can just run all the tests because we only have one anyway. And you can see there, do you want me to create this file for you? Yes, of course I do. And now if we run it, we've got a passing test. And that test passes because this file mover class exists. And all the test is checking is that it has the type of file mover. Well, of course it does because it's that implementation. So we can look inside our service directory now. And we can see this file mover class has been created for us. There's not a lot in there but it's done some of the work for us. So that's quite nice. Now I'm going to add in another spec in here, which checks if a file can be moved from a temporary to a controlled location. In other words, from the location that PHP temporarily stores our uploaded file to a location that we control. Now there's a few things going on with PHP spec and I appreciate that it's a lot to take in, but perhaps the most interesting thing going on here is that we're using this to refer to this particular class. So whenever we refer to this inside our spec, we can call or will try and call anything that's on our file mover, our real class. So if we're saying it can move a file from temporary to controlled storage, then we need a way, a public function to move one thing from one location to another. So what I'm going to say is this move, given a current location and a new location, should return true. So if everything goes to plan, then if we give this function the location of an existing file and the location that we want to move that file to, then that file should be moved and the function should return true. So we've got a couple of issues. We need to declare current location. And as this is a test, I'll just set this to some fake temp path and I'll set new location to some fake real path. Okay, should be good enough. Let's run our test through now and see what happens. You can see we've just tried to call move on our file mover that doesn't exist. PHP spec's nice enough to want to create that for us. So we're going to say yes. And it's done that, but it said, of course, we expected to get true, but we got null. And that's because even though it's generated as this stub, we don't actually have an implementation here. So let's fake this through to get the test to pass. So we want to move from an existing file path to a new file path. We want to do the move here. And then we want to return true if everything went to plan. And we have two passing tests. So even though at this point all we've done is test that a method, if told to return true, will return true, we know that our test setup is working. But more importantly, what I want you to take away from this is to think about breaking your code down into really small pieces. Each little piece is going to do not very much. And it's how we stack those pieces together, a bit like Lego, that will help us make a more reliable system.